Hey guys, Nova Explosion, welcome back to more Dragon Quest Monsters, The Dark Prince. You can see my monster team is slightly different. I did get the chocolate golem, that's the good news. The bad news is, what I didn't realize was the chocolate golem is actually, like, not that good. Unfortunately, it's a rank F, which is concerning. However, I did get the Metal Slime Knight, which I love the, the Slime Knight designs. And the Metal Slime Knight is a rank C, and he also has a lot of good healing abilities. He's got more heal, and he gets multi-heal in, like, two more skill tree level ups. So, I was playing the game a bit on my own time, not because I really had to, because I wanted to. The game is just really addicting. This is a really addicting game to just, like, scout stuff and synthesize stuff. So, I just did that. Uh, I think we finish the indulgence echelon, so we have to pick another middle echelon. Also, there was something I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went out of my way to scout this thing as well as the carnivine enemy, which is located in the circle of temper, I want to say. Because I want the coral monster. So I'm going to get the coral monster right now because I like the coral monster. I should probably look at your stats before I decide what to inherit. You have good attack, good defense, bad agility, bad wisdom. Not really bad, but your attack and defense is where you shine. So we don't want this one. You should inherit all your points to naturalist. And then for you, we can do, obviously, nuisance. And we'll kind of see what I decide. Protector is a decent one. You get kabuff and you get bounce. Bounce is a really good one. I mean, I, I'd probably just get these, because the others aren't really worth it for you, because you're not really a magic caster. I'm trying to remember how I got the Metal Slime Knight. I think I used the Shadow Slime. I used the Shadow Slime with something else. It was the Shadow Slime with something else that got me the Metal Slime Knight. But there's a really helpful guide, which I actually want to pull it up right now for people trying to, like, play this game. Uh, Dragon Quest Monsters... Dark Prince. If I look up, like, I don't know, Metal Slime Knight, they have a really good website for, like, getting all the synthesis stuff. It is called Game8.com. If you go to Game8.com and go to Dragon Quest Monsters Dark Prince, they have a lot of guides, whether it's, like, best monsters to get early game, mid game, late game, or just synthesis calculators, which is what I mainly use it for. So it's a really helpful guide that I would highly recommend for people trying to get some crazy monsters. Uh, I'm gonna take you out. I also did take my other monsters out because I, uh, when I was leveling up, I didn't want to get my other monsters too strong, so that's why we don't have the Dragon Slime or the Hell Nino with us. Um, but, uh, you know. So yeah, that's why most of them are, like, out. I also did Scout of Freezing Fog. So yeah, a couple of stuff looks different because I was playing the game on my own time because the game is just so addicting. <laughs> That's honestly why. Uh, I'm gonna keep the chocolate golem in the back just because he's hilarious. Uh, we definitely want the killing machine. And also, where's the Hell Nino? Hell Nino is right here. And we're definitely gonna use the Metal Slime Knight long term. Maybe for the rest of the playthrough? Because I really like the Metal Slime Knight. And he's a rank C. But, you know. As for this spot, as for these spots, doesn't really matter. I kind of just want to take whoever. Really just you I might want to get rid of and put someone else in. Oh, the Jackal, of course. How could I forget about the Jackal? That should carry us for a little bit. No. You did beat General Chain? Nice. Yeah, General Chain is like the biggest difficulty spike in the game as of now. And then after that, they give you access to like all the... No, no, no. You have to do the Circle of Fortitudes first. But after that one, they give you access to all the middle echelons. And speaking of, we're actually choosing a middle echelon. I don't know which one we want to go for. We started... We didn't really start Temper. We saw like the opening cutscene. I just wanted to get a Dark Saber Cub. I don't think that's the one I'm going to do though. No, it wasn't Temper. It was um Conquest? It was Conquest. I don't think I want to do Conquest. Maybe I want to do Temper. In that case. Yeah, Circle of Temper. We could do any echelon, any order. The world is literally our oyster.
The game doesn't have a walkthrough yet. I mean, this game is like three weeks old. <laughs> this game came out like three weeks ago. Plus, I think people really wanted to help with the monster side of things, which, you know, is good because, you know. Not that I really use guides. I'm only I only used it for like synthesis calculator and I probably will only use it. I mean, like, freaking Trinity Trigger doesn't even have like a reliable walkthrough and it came out in April. So, not surprising. This game is like kind of like not super known. It did not do well with the marketing for this game, like advertising it when it was coming out, which is unfortunate because I think that's going to affect sales. I hope people still buy this game because this game is great. I'm sure it'll fill the monster catching niche really well. Like people who like Pokemon will probably buy it. But I wish the uh, marketing and advertising was done better. Alto, name yourselves, strangers. Where are your manners? It's not very polite to ask someone's name without introducing yourself first, you know. Está bien. Me llamo Fuego. And you must be underlings of the dragon named Ash, see? I do. That's that's really nice that you like speak a little bit of Spanish. That's so cool. Ash? I haven't the foggiest who that could be. <sighs> well, you certainly don't look like locals. Tell me then, why are you here? Do my ears deceive me? You've come to challenge the big hitter. <laughs> Then, I must apologize, Abeus. Our goals are one and the same. Sorry? I don't quite follow. The big hitter is Senor Ash of the infamous Brimstone Boys. He is sacrificing many monsters as part of some bloodthirsty ritual. I command a group of muchachos dedicated to his downfall. Now. I ask you join us in our struggle. Muy bien. We are united as allies. Even as we speak, Ash performs his ritual in the Sepulchre of Flame, in the cave known as the Zealot's Chamber. Yo, actual volcano? Why are you swimming? What the heck? Let us meet at the cave. Be prepared, amigos. The fight will be caliente. One of my favorite things about Dragon Quest, of the many things I love about Dragon Quest, is the different dialects. I really love it. It's like in uh, all the Dragon Quest games, every single town is like based on a different area of the world. Like, and people speak in like different dialects. It's always been like one of the many things I love about Dragon Quest. You'd be surprised how little Dragon Quest games I've played, considering how much I love about the ones I've played. It's, it's insane. I need to play more Dragon Quest games. Honestly, you guys are probably going to dominate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think this area is probably weaker than Conquest. Or, con yeah, Conquest. I said that right. Yeah, we're only getting 700 experience, so we're going to, like, steamroll everything. The Indulgence one wasn't the weakest. That was, like, the second or third weakest one when I looked at the difficulty meter. So, again, this one might be weaker. We might steamroll it a little bit. I was battling in the circle of Temper, Earth and Distance Temper. I keep getting Temper and Conquest confused. I did battle in the Conquest one, and I was doing it pretty okay, so I could go take that one on if I wanted. I feel like my monster team is strong enough to really take on anything. Like, this is the most broken monster team ever, and it's only going to get more broken with the Metal Slime Knight. Oh, give me the multi-heal. He gets Magic Burst? What the heck? That's insane. Ooh, chili breath and give me that breath attack. We can get Kazamel. Yo, this uh this metal slime knight is staying in the team for a while. Uh, uh, um I love lava in video games. Mount Gumbo in Grandia, and Mount Killarouse in Berseria, Mount Huji in Dragon Quest XI. Love me some volcano dungeons or volcano locales. What's your least favorite Dragon Quest game? 
The original Dragon Quest Heroes, probably. No, yeah, that's definitely my least favorite. Actually, wait, have I played any other Dragon Quest games? Yeah, Dragon Quest Heroes 1 is my least favorite. Easily. Easiest answer of my career. It's not even bad, it's just like... The second one makes it obsolete and like not worth playing, but also the first one was like... Not really good. It was just fine. It had a really nice concept, and the one good thing it did was spawn a sequel. Without it, we wouldn't have gotten Heroes too. so... I owe it that much, but... There's really no reason to play it today. Especially considering that the second one is standalone and not a direct sequel. Like, there is no reason to play the original Heroes, other than, like, curiosity, I guess. Um, these are the held Ninjos that I have. I'm already seeing a lot of stuff I don't even need to scout. I saw some stuff I do need to scout. Um, dude, I don't even need to try. Why go into the orders menu when my monster team can just slaughter everything? Um, um. Something here? Nope. Giant crater. I don't have you guys. Might be worth my while to maybe try and scout. I shouldn't have known that would happen. I had to go for it though. My monster team is so strong that I just had to try. Now you get to die. Congratulations. You didn't join me, therefore you must die. Yeah, you can really... If you really get crazy with synthesis, you can really just steamroll. Like this team I have right now is just too broken. It cannot be stopped. Is that a monster egg I see? Mine now. Oh, by the way, I should say this. I don't know if we'll get it to happen on stream. I hope we do. When I was, um, scout grinding... Ugh. Why? I hate the lips. When I was grind... Uh, not grinding, really. I shouldn't call it grinding. When I was scout grinding... Scout grinding, I'll call it that. When I was scout grinding off screen, uh, a metal slime appeared. And I remembered from the Colosseum we got a metal slime card. Yeah, metal slime card. I think this gives us access to metal slimes because I saw a metal slime in the circle of indulgence. I didn't encounter it because it ran away from me, but metal slimes started to appear. So I think we're at the point where metal slimes can start appearing and have a low chance to proc like in other Dragon Quest games. So I think that's something we're going to keep our eye on. I hope it happens during the playthrough. Because I would like to say I encountered the Metal Slime. Scouting is what they call catching monsters. It's called scouting. When you, like, recruit the monster from the battle. Yeah, the Chocolate Glowroom kind of sucks, but... I want him here for moral support. He's very funny. I'm still glad I got him, but I kind of wish he was at least a rank... Mostly, I wish he was a rank D, but rank F is like, there's no reason to use him. He's really just here for, here to hang out. He gone. Oh yeah, and the middle slime knight has a talent that like gives him two turns, like the killing machine. 
a way to make my team even more broken. What's that talent called, actually? I have it, but I don't know what it's called. Is it Tactical Trooper? Yeah, perform sometimes performs two actions in a row. It's a, it's a possibility. But yeah, my Killing Machine also has it. It's a really good talent. They're hard to scout because they run away. Yeah, classic Metal Slimes in Dragon Quest. I mean, Metal Slimes are a Dragon Quest staple. They're always hard to encounter and fight, but they give you a lot of EXP. I'd imagine in the Monsters game, they're very hard to scout. And they're also hard to kill. Because they run away, and also they have incredibly high evasion. And magic, like, doesn't work on them. And everything does one damage, but also they have low HP to complement it. Metal Slime has, like, 3 HP, I think. Don't ask me why I remember this, but Metal Slimes have 3 HP. Liquid Metal Slimes have 7, I think? And then Metal King Slimes have, like, 11 or 12. I could be wrong about the King Slimes HP, but... I know Metal Slimes have 3 HP in most Dragon Quest games, and I think Liquids have 7. Which essentially means, unless you get a crit, you have to hit them 3 and 7 times respectively. That's another monster egg? What the heck? Do I have you? I don't remember. I might actually not have you. This might be a monster I actually don't have. The Grimferno. Oh, rip. We can't swim. Sorrow didn't learn how to swim. Do be that way. I've already almost encountered everything? That's insane. Yeah, as you can see, my monster team is like stupid broken and scouting is a waste of time anyway. So you, you kind of see how I'm not- I'm trying not to do too many battles because like, what's the point? My monster team is like good level-wise and also they're just good with their abilities. Air sweeping and also, unless I see something I haven't seen, there's really no point. Scouting is going to be a waste of time anyway. I'd rather just come back and scout when I get my reputation up. Enos, it has been a while. How you doing? I've been doing okay myself. I'm playing some great games lately. Stop. Okay. You want to die, I guess. You brought this on yourself. I like that the MP item goes before the monster, so the Dragon Slime, slime could still whip out Thunderstorm. That's so funny. Yeah, Christmas is in three days. That's another reason I'm probably going for a shorter stream. Today's like, I have some stuff to do for Christmas, so that's another reason today might be a three hour stream. I shouldn't say probably, it probably will be, especially because last time was five. I have some stuff to do before Christmas comes around. Okay, I see what's up. I see you. I see you. No, no, no. Yeah, okay, Christmas is coming up, then the new year. The new year's like next week already, which is crazy to me. I think January 1st is like on a Tuesday, isn't it? I have to look at that. No, it's on a Monday. It's a week after Christmas. So next Monday is already the new year. My winter break's been... Actually, my winter break was last week? Last week was my last day. No, 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 no. Winter. 
Yo, winter in the volcano actually looks sick. It doesn't like freeze the lava, which is interesting to say the least. 